Kevin. What are you welding on? Hang on. This is the large octahedron. I'm sorry, a truncated octahedron. This is just half of it. And going around all these pipes. Everywhere, around and around and around and around. You get dizzy going around all these pipes. So, I had another email the other day. You guys are coming up with some great questions, believe me. The gentleman wanted to know about lift, start, tick. He said, I don't have a foot pedal like you got. All I've got is the torch, but my machine doesn't have high frequency. Can you talk about that a little bit? So most TIGs have a couple different ways that you can start the arc. You've got the foot pedal, for like when you're working at a bench. You've got the trigger that's on the torch itself, for if you're you know, standing up, you're in some weird position, what have you. But they also have a high frequency start and a lift start, or a scratch start, if you will. The difference between those two the high frequency allows you to allows you to just be able to get close to your work with your torch and push the button or push on the foot pedal and then the arc will jump that gap and you can your your arc will start and then you can you can go ahead and weld with a lift start no foot pedal no high frequency so it doesn't matter how many times you sit here and push your trigger, that arc is not going to make that jump. You have to push the button, touch it to the metal. The machine says, oh, hey, I got metal. I can go. As soon as you pick back up, the machine puts all the power on, and that starts the arc. And then you can go ahead and do your weld. And when you're all done, you push the button again. That turns the arc off. You still have your post flow of the gas, so that helps to cool the weld, and you're done. So on this longevity TIG weld 250 ACDC, the difference is right here at this switch. Either high frequency, the HF, or lift. So now it's changed over. So instead of the foot pedal working, or instead of the high frequency working, where you can just click it and go, now you have to click it to start the machine, touch it, pick it up, then the arc will start, and then you can go ahead and go. If, if you have a foot pedal, though, why would you do that? Why would you even want the option? Well, the high frequency, that's a good question. The high frequency actually causes a lot of damage to electronics. So if you're, like, welding on a car, if you're, um, you know, working where there's a bunch of computers or something like that, you know, if your neighbor is complaining because every time you start TIG welding, their TV goes berserk. You know, it's all fuzzy, or the radio goes dead, or, you know, if you've got a radio turned on in your workshop and you try to TIG weld with high frequency, then all of a sudden you can't hear your radio until you stop welding. That's the high frequency doing. If you go to lift start, no high frequency, all that, uh, all that interference goes away. More importantly... If you have a pacemaker, the high frequency can kill you. Yikes! It can stop your pacemaker. That's why, you know, you see TIG welders working like this. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I got the machine set to lift start. Foot pedal is disconnected, so it's all right in the trigger. So put your helmet on, check it out. So you see if I just, if I just click the button, I get nothing. But if I hold the button and come down and touch and then my arc starts and when I'm all done you just push the button the arc goes away so is the experience the same or the results the same whether you use the lift start or the foot pedal well the results are the same you know you're still going to get a good weld the experience is going to be different because with the with the lift start now your amperage control is at the machine all you've got here with this torch is just on and off. Now, some torches have both the on and off, and they also have a little scroll wheel or a slider where you can adjust the amperage right there at the torch. This machine does not have that. But 
with the foot pedal and the high frequency, now you've got all your amperage adjustment right there under your foot. It's great if you're working at the bench, if you're working someplace where you know, things are a little more stable, where you can get your foot, you, know, you can stand on one foot and work the other one and do what you want to do, or if you can sit down, perfect. But when you're you know, working on a big sculpture, you know, if I'm welding on a car, uh, you know, I'm working on the plumbing, you know, whatever, where you're you know, upside down and backwards and you, know, you got the pedal in between your knees or under your arm or something like that where you're, you're trying to control it, that gets a little confusing. You, know, you take off the foot pedal, you can either go to the high frequency and run the trigger if you don't have the electronics to worry about. But if you got electronics to worry about, then you go to lift start, and then it's just on and off, and all your adjustment is at the machine. So you got to have it set up correctly to begin with. Or somebody to help, you can do a little bit of weld and go, oh, hell, hey, turn that up a little. You know, they can go over and adjust it for you. That, that's really the only difference that I see between the two of them. Hope that answers your question. I'll see you next time.